Hello again, everybody, and I am back again to ruin everyone's day with more internet stupidity. Thankfully, here to bear the pain with me is Harley TBS, who will be assisting me with the coverage of this topic. And now, if you're lucky enough to have no idea what this is all about, I truly envy you, but I unfortunately must ruin that blissful ignorance and tell you that people are legitimately harassing and allegedly doxing somebody over an Animal Crossing hairstyle. This is not a joke. People are genuinely this insane, and I'm just kind of in shock as to how so many people think dogpiling and harassing someone one for something so menial as a pixelated video game hairstyle is okay. Now in case you're wondering, this is the image in question. Somebody looked at this image and decided, yeah, this is racist. I'm actually going insane. I hate it here, folks. Anyways, let's just get right into this absolute mess of a video topic. <laughs> In this segment, I'm going to be going over some of the ridiculous tweets I found relating to the situation, like this one here, which says, Nintendo, release a patch where you have to take a little questionnaire on your ethnicity slash background so these white people don't have access to the Afro puff slash other cultural hairstyles. So you're telling me you're trying to fight racism by reintroducing segregation, or at least trying to, because racial segregation by definition is the separation of people by racial or other ethnic groups. Only black people can have this hairstyle, only white people can have this hairstyle and anything in between sounds a lot like that to me. Twitter users are becoming so woke they're accidentally cycling back into promoting segregation. What a year 2020 is. Also, a lot of people in this whole controversy like to say, but think of the kids. What if the kids saw this? Think of the children. Okay, imagine you're like seven years old and your Animal Crossing family-friendly Nintendo game asks what color your skin is so it can take away customization options if you answer a certain way. That sounds pretty awful, doesn't it? Speaking of that argument, let's read this tweet here. Hey, these are not called space buns. These are actually called Afro puffs, not buns. Could you please stop being rascid with the new hair topic and be thankful we have new things? This is a kid's game and little ones do not need to see this content. Okay, first of all, you can't even spell racist, right? And second of all, what little ones are going to be on Twitter, much less see this picture of a random girl with buns and think, wow, I feel so offended. Racism is prejudice against somebody because of their skin color, not having a certain hairstyle commonly used within other ethnic groups. The OP did not title this picture, this looks better on white people, or nor was the caption even about anything relating to race. The caption was literally just cute space buns. Besides, a child is not going to feel personally wrong because someone of a different skin color has the same or similar hairstyle. There are like two ways I can see a child who has little to no life experience think that's because somebody of a different race has their same hairstyle style, their hair is bad or wrong or they can't have it or whatever this person thinks a child would think about themselves because of it. One, if they believe white people to be inherently bad, which, you know, children obviously should not be taught. They should be taught the history of racism, but they also should be taught that none of their peers are superior or inferior to them due to the color of their skin. The second scenario is that they believe that only they should have that hair and white people having it somehow makes them not allowed to have it, which is also false because no one race or culture owns a specific hair style or texture. Cultures are meant to be shared and appreciated together, and believe it or not, it is also entirely possible for white people to have curly hair. It is possible for mixed people to have pale skin and curly hair. People who think like this will absolutely lose their mind if they see a picture of Bob Ross, I know it, and there is no reason to push the further separation of cultures onto children. Just to put into perspective how stupid this whole thing is, let's say I'm Asian, which I am, I don't know why I phrase it as if I wasn't. Okay, so I'm Asian, I see a black or white person with straight hair. It would be really fucking stupid for me to say only Asian people can have straight hair, you can't have straight hair because you're black or white, you're appropriating my culture. Not only does that sound incredibly dumb, it would also be racist if I were to stop someone for having something based solely on the color of their skin. It's the classic game of, if the roles were reversed, would this get someone cancelled? To wrap up the segment, we have this absolutely terrible tweet here saying, I, uh, ma'am, they're not space buns, they're afro puffs, in parentheses, not sure the correct name, and they're meant for black girls. Us white girls cannot use them, so I advise you to change them before it's too late. And then somebody in the replies asks exactly what they mean by too late, and they respond by saying, till others cancel her and put her name out there. I briefly touched on this in my last video, but oh boy, that is just such a lot to unpack. Firstly, why are you trying to normalize the act of doxing? You 
act as if someone's privacy being violated is a normal response to a controversial post. And when I say controversial, I say controversial in the eyes of Twitter because the bar of controversy is set much lower on that side, obviously. But why are you defending the people that commit crimes and dogpile and harass others? The internet has caused humanity to evolve backwards. I am personally a huge supporter of the everybody should just devolve and live in the woods again ideology. We we've just gone too far as a society. It's time the bang sticks and rocks together again. Also, I absolutely love love how they're not even black themselves and yet they decided to speak on behalf of black people because I have seen many a comment, tweet, and reply from actual people of color saying that the situation is ridiculous. It's honestly really annoying how people try to be offended on behalf of a minority group because that's really not woke or being an activist, it's having a savior complex. Anyways, those are my thoughts for now and I'll hand the hypothetical mic over to Harley. Take it away. Hi, I'm Harley TBS, a YouTuber about to hit 10k by the way, so, you know, I hate to plug in someone else's video, but if you want to go subscribe before Christmas, that would be dope. Anyway, now I've plugged in someone else's video, let's go over why Twitter is one of the worst social media in the world. Now, I know Galaxy's already explained most of this, but I'd also like to explain it briefly again and then give my take on it and tell you what I picked up from it. And obviously, we start with this iconic tweet. Cute space buns with just an image of an Animal Crossing character with buns for their haircut. And obviously, because why not? Twitter's gone in a riot over it, about how this is the most racist thing they've ever seen. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Clearly, like, this image... Racist. Racist. Look at it. Look at it. You're telling me that ain't racist. If, if you think that I'm racist, you're dumb. Obviously, I'm kidding. This is one of the most stupid arguments I've ever seen on the internet. Before even getting to the response, I just want to talk about how, how in the world do you turn an Animal Crossing screenshot, the most wholesome game in the world, into a piece of racism? Literally, how? How? Anyway, people decided this is racist and it's terrible. And I'll explain why. So there's this first response from a Twitter user, and their response reads, Okay, so let's be clear. Without black women, this style wouldn't be for anyone to use. Black women created a petition for curly hair representation and got it signed. And then Nintendo listened. This is a black girl win that you don't get to take away from us. This is the reason. You'll have enough styles. Let us have this, we worked for it, and y'all are stealing it. In which they attach an image, obviously, of a Google search, which shows Afro Puffs, which is a black haircut, apparently, that has buns, and a white person with a haircut called Space Buns. And if you ask me, these are two different hairstyles from two different cultures. Like, if you genuinely think this is racist, I have to be concerned about where the line is drawn here. How is the line so sharp at this point for cancellation that even if you have a hairstyle, that it's, it's cancellation? cancelable worthy. Your hair is enough to get you career ended on the internet now. You can get game ended over your haircut. Then there's obviously people trying to make stupid excuses where they're like, oh my god, it's a video game? Uh, so that's the same as if you were to say the N word is just a word. It's the meaning behind these things. I'm not saying to change it. If you want to be arrogant, go right ahead. But when black people say we can't have anything, this is why. What are you trying to have here? Are you trying to have some person's life ruined and get them doxxed over the fact that they used a haircut in a video game? Secondly, obviously the n-word isn't just a word, everyone knows that, but this is a hairstyle, it's an open community and culture. You can have any hairstyle you want, that's not racist, it's not offensive. Why would you be offended over the fact that someone has a hairstyle? If anything, you should be happy about the fact that they've taken inspiration from your style in that case. Now, I might be wrong here, so stop me if I am, or just tell me in the comments that I am, but surely it's also racist on the flip side to tell someone they're not allowed a haircut just based off of their race alone. Pretty sure that's what racism is. <laughs> but what I fucking hate the most about Twitter is when the white girl army wakes up and they're like, oh my god, people are being offended? People that I don't represent are being offended? How about I go defend them? Like, no, it's not your place to get defended in someone else's place. Do you understand me? Like, do I have to make that clear? You don't have the right to tell someone else they're racist when you're not in the culture that's being offended by it. Surely, you should take their input and share that. You shouldn't be making statements like this in the first place. But here we have some lovely white lady who's decided that she's going to post it's the fact that she had to go out and buy the new hairstyles. Like, the new hairstyles are specifically made for black people so they can rep themselves more accurately in-game. Literally no reason for a white girl to buy them. She literally, literally went out of her way to be racist. Like, no, she just bought a hairstyle, man, because it looked cool. Hairstyles look cool. Hairstyles fit a character. Who cares? It's a video game. 
Like, th there's no N-word in the video game, there's no racism. It's not racist to have a hairstyle. If you think it's racist to have a hairstyle, I'm upset. And then there's one more lovely comment that I want to point out. So this creator, the person who created the post, has said that all of the hairstyles are for anyone to use. And then someone else has responded, Uh, no. The new hairstyles are for people of colour to use. You have like 20 other hairstyles to choose from. Use a different one. Firstly, why is this white person trying to attack this person like this? It seems really stupid. It seems literally just like they want to hate and they want to get attention from it. But also, hairstyles in a video game that are only for people of colour. That's segregation. That's telling people they can't do something based on their race alone. Over something that's an open culture like hair, where anyone can have any hairstyle they want and be inspired by any person they want. Like, is Bob Ross racist for having an afro? No! Are you racist for having a hairstyle in a video game? In a fictional game that's just for fun and having a fun experience? No! But Twitter is what it is. Twitter gonna hate. Twitter gonna say all this stupid shit because that's what Twitter is. And I'm not here for it. I think it's dumb. I find it shocking that people could get doxxed over something this stupid. And I genuinely just hate Twitter as a platform. Only reason I use Twitter is so that I can post shitty memes at this point. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed my part in this video. Again, check out my channel. I want to hit 10k before Christmas. That would be like a good Christmas present, I guess. I'll see you guys in the video on my channel that me and Galaxy are working on together. And yeah, I'll pass it back to Galaxy now. So yeah, now that you're caught up with the monthly what are Twitter users overreacting about this time section of the internet, thank you for your time. Obviously, don't go out of your way to harass anyone featured in this video or doesn't do anything but make you and the point you're trying to make look bad. But anyways, thank you again to Harley TBS for coming on today. Be sure to sub to the both of us if you like the content, like the video if you, well, liked it. And reminders that I do still have commissions open. So if you, you know, want one, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram, Twitter, or DeviantArt. All links to all of social medias will be in the description down below. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.